Hi, I'm Jake White. A couple of years ago, I was lucky enough to coach the Springboks and we went on to win the World Cup. Today, I'm currently Director of Rugby at the Vodacom Bulls. So for me, my focus has changed. I want you guys that are youngsters to grow up to be the best rugby players you can. And today, Coach Joey is going to teach you about when you off sides. Thanks, Jake. To help me with today's lesson, we've got Vodacom Bulls scrum off Bernard and the world famous Biliki. As we said in episode two, in rugby, you can always run forward, but you must always pass the ball backwards. Here's an important tip to help you with this. The ball has an imaginary line that runs straight through the middle of it. And if you want to be allowed to catch it, you must always be behind it. Otherwise, you're what we call offside. If your teammate is carrying the ball and you find yourself closer to where your team scores their tries, you are in front of the ball and therefore in an offside position. Standing there isn't going to get you into trouble on its own, but you will not be allowed to participate where you are. The referee will award a penalty to the opposition if you do. As soon as you move, you need to move back behind that imaginary line that runs straight through the ball. During a scrum, this imaginary line moves back to the feet of the hindmost player in the scrum. Only a scrum off is allowed to remain next to the scrum. So, what did we learn today? We learned that there's an imaginary line that runs through the ball and you need to always be behind it. If you're ahead of the ball, you may not try to catch it. You need to go back to get into a position where you're allowed to play the ball. We'll tell you more about catching and passing in the next episode of Jake's Kickstart.